Hello family, welcome back to the channel Optometry Concepts. After a long wait, we are back on the track with new interesting topics. And this time we are going to learn about refractive errors. Before getting into errors, let's know how our eyes see things clearly. When light falls on object, the reflected rays should be focused on the retina to be seen clearly. Okay, but how does this happen? Let's get this with an example. Suppose a plant is placed in front of the eye, the light falls on the plant and the reflected parallel rays travel to the eye. The cornea, which is a refracting structure, allows it to enter in and the rays come in contact to lens, which is also called as converging lens. It allows the rays to focus on the retina, hence we see things clearly. It is also called as emetropia. On the contrary, instead of focusing on the retina, parallel rays either focus in front or behind the retina or maybe form two different focal points. This is called refractive error. It is also known as ametropia. It is of three types, myopia, hypermetropia and astigmatism. Myopia, when the rays of light are coming from infinity, are focused in front of the retina when accommodation is at rest. It is also called as short-sightedness, where the individual is only able to see at near. Causes First, curvature, when the curvature of cornea or lens is increased. Second, axial length, the anterior-posterior diameter of the eyeball is increased than the normal. Third, refractive index, that is, light-bending power. If the refractive index of cornea or lens is increased, it can induce myopia. Positional, when the crystalline lens is anteriorly displaced. For example, trauma. Types, congenital, since birth, simple, which is most common and mostly due to curvature or axial length. It starts from 5 to 10 years till 15 to 20 years. Third, pathological. It is also called as degenerative. It causes due to degenerative changes of the eye. Symptoms. Blurred vision for distance. Half shutting of the eye to attain greater clarity. Asthenopic symptoms such as headache, photophobia, watering, etc. Sign. Prominent eyeball. Myopic eyes typically looks larger than the normal. Anterior chamber is deep. Fundus changes such as disc look larger and paler. At the temporal edge, myopic crescent can be seen in the case of degenerative myopia. Diagnostic tools such as retinoscopy and A scan ultrasonography, which reveals the length of the eyeball. Treatment Myopic error can be treated with concave lenses. The mode to prescribing concave lens are spectacles and contact lens. And other mode of treatment are surgery, such as radial keratotomy, laser in situ keratomeliosis, phakic intraocular lens, orthokeratology, extraction of clear crystalline lens. Hypermetropia, when the rays of light are coming from infinity, are focused behind the retina when accommodation is at rest. It is also known as long-sightedness, where the individual is only able to see at distance. Causes First, curvature, when the curvature of cornea or lens is lesser than the normal. Second, axial length, when the anterior-posterior length of the eyeball is smaller than the normal. Third, refractive index, when the refractive index of cornea or lens, especially in the case of cortical cataract, it decreases the refractive index of the lens, which eventually induces hypermetropia. Fourth, position, when the lens is posteriorly placed or posteriorly displaced in the vitreous, especially in the case of trauma, it can induce hypermetropia. Types A. Simple or developmental. It usually occur due to curvature or axial length. B. Pathological. It occur due to refractive index, positional, aphakia, that is absence of crystalline lens. Consecutive, which means overcorrection of myopia. 
C. Functional, which is due to paralysis of accommodation which can be seen in third nerve palsy. Components of hypermetropia Total hypermetropia The total amount of error that can be estimated by instilling cycloplegic drug. Example, atropin. It is of two types, latent and manifest hypermetropia. Latent hypermetropia is the amount of error that can be corrected by inherent tone of ciliary muscle, which is about one diopter. In manifest hypermetropia, the remaining portion which cannot be corrected by ciliary tone. It is of two types, facultative and absolute. Facultative, the part which can be corrected by accommodative effort, wherein absolute, the residual part which cannot be corrected by accommodative effort. Symptoms First, asymptomatic. Usually, mild degree of errors are corrected by inherent tone of ciliary muscle. Hence, patient does not come up with any kind of problem. Second, asthenopia. When the error is fully corrected by sustained accommodation, then patient come up with asthenopic symptoms such as headache, watering, photophobia, eye fatigue, etc. Third, defective vision along with asthenopic symptoms. When the refractive error is not fully corrected with sustained accommodation. Fourth, defective vision only. This is seen in adults where the error is high and patient does not use accommodation. Sign, eyeball may appear small as a whole. Interior chamber, shallow. Fundus change, small disc. Looks more vascular and ill-defined margin. Diagnosis with the help of retinoscopy. A scan ultrasonography, which reveals axial length. Treatment Hypermetropic errors are treated with convex lens. Mode of prescribing lens are spectacles and contact lens. Another mode of treatment is surgery, like hyperopic PRK, which is photorefractive keratectomy, hyperopic LASIK, conductive keratoplasty. Astigmatism it is an refractive error where light converges at two different points and eventually it forms focal line. It is of two types, regular and irregular astigmatism. Regular astigmatism, where the refractive power changes uniformly from one meridian to another. Causes First, curvature. When the curvature of cornea or lens is abnormal, Example, lenticonus. Second, position. When the lens is obliquely placed, example, subluxation. Or, macula is obliquely placed. Third, refractive index. Due to variable refractive index in different meridian. Types, with the rule astigmatism, where two principal meridian are placed at right angle to each other but the vertical meridian are more curved than horizontal. Against the rule astigmatism, where two principal meridian are placed at right angle to each other, but horizontal meridian are more curved than vertical. Oblique astigmatism, where two principal meridian are not horizontal and vertical, though these are placed at right angle to each other. Example, one at 45 degree and another at 135 degree. By oblique astigmatism, two principal meridian are not at right angle to each other. Example, one at 30 degree, another at 100 degree. Refractive type A. Simple astigmatism, where the rays are focused on the retina in one meridian and either in front or behind the retina in another meridian, called as simple myopic or simple hypermetropic astigmatism, respectively. Compound astigmatism, where light rays in the both meridian are focused either in front or behind the retina. This condition is labeled as compound myopic or compound hypermetropic astigmatism, respectively. Mixed astigmatism, where light rays are focused in front of the retina in one meridian and behind the retina in other meridian. Symptoms, defective vision. Object may appear elongated. Asthenopic symptom, especially seen in small degree of astigmatism. Sign, 
different power in different meridian oval or tilted optic disc seen in high degree of astigmatism head tilt to bring their axis nearer to horizontal or vertical meridian half closer of lid to achieve greater clarity of stenopic vision investigation retinoscopy keratometry which reveal different corneal curvature astigmatic fan test and jackson cross cylinder it help in confirming power and axis of cylindrical lenses treatment astigmatic errors are treated by cylindrical lens mode of prescription are spectacle and contact lens mild degree of errors are corrected by soft contact lens where 2 to 3 diopter of errors are corrected by rigid contact lens and high degree of errors are corrected by toric contact lens and other mode of treatment is surgery astigmatic keratotomy photoastigmatic refractive keratotomy and lasik irregular astigmatism where the refractive power changes irregularly or non uniformly from one meridian to another etiological types first curvature it is seen if the cornea having extensive scar or keratoconus second refractive index various refractive index in lens example in mature cataract symptoms defective vision distortion of object polyopia that is visual perception of multiple images investigation placidos disc photokeratoscopy and computerized corneal topography it reveals irregular corneal curvature treatment optically it can be treated with contact lens phototherapeutic keratectomy it is performed with excimer laser in the case of superficial corneal scar which is leading to irregular astigmatism penetrating keratoplasty it is performed in extensive scar thank you so much everyone for watching this video this was a brief introduction on refractive errors and if you found this helpful then do like this video and subscribe to our channel and if you have any queries or suggestions do let us know in the comment section and stay tuned with us